Today I'm just going to do a very short uh, how-to video on how to make your very own bushes. Uh, some little foliage bushes. You can see some of them made there. So I'm going to show you how to uh, make these. They're very simple, very cheap and fun to make. And I encourage everyone to have a go, uh, even if you never done anything like this before it's definitely worth a go so to make our little bushes which is what we're going to make um, what you're going to need is it's quite simple easy to buy and these are so simple anyone can do it I encourage everyone to have a go here's a bag full of this stuff you can buy this from Hobby Craft or any ho re um, hobby retailer or you can just any old soft toys that are falling apart you'll find this stuff is in it I think build a bear that kind of thing it all it's that kind of thing you get it in lots of toys but this is great uh, this is what you get okay so you'll need a bag of this I think it's about a couple of quid for this not very expensive and this will go a long way so you'll need some of that you'll need um, your wooden scenic scatters I use fine turf, coarse turf, earth, and burnt grass soil. You don't have to use these. This is just something I've just uh, added together. And what I do is an empty bottle, and I just put a little bit of each inside in there. You see, and that's what you'll, you'll mix your your bushes and colour them into. Okay, let's get started. Put that out of the way. You will take your fibre, okay, synthetic fibre, and you will need some colour. I'm using acrylics. I've just shown you I've got some black and some cream there. These are just old paints hanging around, but uh, just mix them up. Let's make a dark colour. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want it to represent bushes, tree. You know, the, the background is going to go a grey colour, but that'll do for now. Um, you don't see a lot of this, this will be hidden underneath it, but you just want a dark camouflage. I'm going to add a little bit of brown to that just to. Uh, these are wooden scenic colours. This is earth colour, burnt um, umber, sorry. Just put a bit of that in there. That'll change colour a bit. There we go. So you get your colour. There's your colour. Now, acrylic paints are really good because they stick and they dry in very well on these sort of things. There you go, you've got like a brownie colour. doesn't matter if it's mixed in or not. Because it will create different variations. I normally just do a blacky colour or dark brown. That'll do. Put the lid back on that. That's it will dry up. Put it to one side. And it cloth to wipe your hands. Okay. You take your fibre wool, your synthetic wool, and you just dip it in there, it's a bit messy this bit you dip it in, scrunch it around and you'll see you're actually colouring it so just do that and I would suggest do a big bunch of these take a big batch and then draw and put them out and that's basically what you want to do, just colour it um, this is a light colour you can make it darker, any colour you like so that's what you do, you put them to one side let them dry out for a day um, uh, there will be plenty enough. It's, acrylic paints will dry quite quickly, and there's the yeah, air will get to it, so they dry quite quickly. So that's what you want to do. So you've gone from step one to creating your your bush. Let that dry. Get them out of the way. And then once that's dried, uh, this is some. These are some that I made a few days ago. Uh, as you can see, they've gone quite hard, which is good. And I've got, you know, this will make loads, loads of bushes. Or if you're going to put some sticks, you can get some, make some sticks and get like a branch. And you can make some trees, so make some trees, that sort of thing. Just get your ideas going. So what we'll do is we'll start with that one, put that to one side. Now I'm just going to do a little bit, pull a little bit off. There's my painted acrylic, and it's a bit spongy. It's not so spongy as that, but it's a bit harder. Take a little mixing thing, a little bit of glue, just PVA glue you can buy from uh, from Wix. 
don't need hobby stuff. And I'm just going to give a tiny dab on there. I don't need much at all. That'll do. Um, what you don't use, while well, you use all that up, just use as little as possible. You can see it's not very messy. Um, it's quite clean going. So, take your uh, your wool, your synthetic wool, pull it up a little bit. And it's quite simple. Scrunch it round. These are so simple, so quick and simple. These, and the messy bit that you think is coming up next is actually the easy bit. You'll need some long nose pliers or something, so uh, that will come in handy. Save so you getting in a white old pickle of a mess, and then you. Uh, Flavour up what you want. Now I've just put some, uh, so I put some uh, light green in there, and I put some fine turf in there. I've just mix them in there. Um, you can put a bit of soil in there if you want. Just drop a little bit of soil in there. You got too mad. And once you've done that, give it a little shake round. That will colour it round. Now what we do is simple. Let me do another way. Keep your air clean, that'll keep you clean, you know where you're going. My finger quick dip. Right, take your little ball of synthetic ball that's now coloured and now got glue, straight glue, 50 100 percent glue on it. Drop it in there, simple as that. Now it won't stick to it because there's lots of little bits in there, so you just put that on, the lid on, give it a good old shape around like that. Once you've done that, you'll find you automatically have a magic bush created. And there is your end result. One perfectly formed bush. And there you go. They are as simple as that. I'll show you just one more time. They are so simple to make. There you go, just pull a bit out. Don't go too big. You can see it covers everything up. Just mix it around. Just mixing all the glue. Using all the glue up so it doesn't dry out. It actually sticks to the wall. There you go. And it goes there. Bit like that. I wouldn't go too thick on this because it will show through a little bit. If it's thin like that, it will disappear into nothing. It's quite simple, do that, and this is the magic trick. Put it in there, give it a shake round. I'll put the lid on this time. You see all magic happening before your eyes. Shake it down to the top. Get your long nose pliers, tap, and you can see hardly any stuff's coming off. It's all stuck to it. And that's, there's your little bushes. Um, you can sort of go a little bit further. You can um, get some glue. If you get a brush, a wipe. Um, get some glue and you can just dab a couple of wet areas. This is if you just want to flavour them up a little bit of a different colour. You can put bits of glue on. And you can get some, uh, this is some old stuff, I've had this for a long time, it's lost a bit of its colour, but sprinkle it over there, just a tiny bit, a tap, and you get some like a little leaf effect, so it's as simple as that, that's making your, your bushes, so I do recommend everybody have a go, don't be frightened, it is easy as step one, step two, some scatter material, glue it and drop it in. It is as easy as that and uh, yeah you get yourself some bushes and uh, they, they will look good on the layout. Okay now we have the bushes back on the layout and as you can see they look quite detailed and um, bring a lot of realism as opposed to some of the uh, horrible spongy ones are, are good but in my mind these uh, seem to have a little more effect to them and they're really cheap really easy to make and a lot of fun so there you go guys unfortunately that's all I've got for today and I um, hope you've enjoyed this insight to how to build your own bushes and um, Please feel free to share and add comment if you need to. And um, till next time, happy modelling, enjoy it, and I'll see you again soon.